Hi, welcome to People Tools Tech Tips. I'm Randy Gronke. Today we're going to talk about posting BI Pub reports to the Process Monitor. Hi, I just got a requirement from a client. They want to post their BI Pub reports to the Process Monitor, not the Report Manager. Now, normally BI publishers running in batch, you have the option of just leaving it as a file, publishing to the Report Manager sending it as an email or sending it as a printer, not sending it to the process monitor. That is not one of the options. However, for this one instance, the users do not want to go to yet another location after producing the file. A quick note about architecture and where to place our BI pub report. If the report is quick, just not more than a few seconds, we can put it on that page with a button and pop it up to another browser tab. However, if it's more than that, push it out to the report server. We don't want the user to see a spinning circle or worse yet, have their session time out before that report's completed. Remember, if they're seeing a spinning circle, they are not able to do anything out on that page. You held them hostage to that report rendering. Now, before we get started, as always, all the code you see here is available in peopletoolstechtips.com or our GitHub site, People Tools Tech Tips. You don't have to worry about copying the code from the screen, just download it from those places and you can follow along and modify it to work in your implementation. So let's go see in that app engine how we push that output report to the process monitor instead of the report manager. Let's have a quick demo of how BI pub and batch normally works. We run the process, confirm the output options. The process monitor lets us know the status of the report running on the batch server. Refreshing we see the process has now completed successfully. And now the results are posted. Looking at the details page, we click the view trace link, which shows us the log and trace file. No reports available here. Going back to view the report manager, we see our report. Before diving into the code, we have to verify some properties on the BI pub reports definition page. This report uses an Excel template. Clicking on the Properties tab and then choosing the People Tool settings from the Property Group dropdown, we see the PSXP Use Default Out Destination property set to True. The Deliver Default of this property is false. We need this property set to True so we can find the full destination location of the report using People Code and the Delivered App classes. Notice here also the PSXP Excel Output Format property. This is set to XLSX. As a note, the BI pub output destination types do not contain an SLXX option. So you'll have to handle that in some other way should you use an RTF to generate an Excel spreadsheet. This is our app engine that produces the BI pub report. Let's look at the people code event to convert it to send the report to the process monitor. Note here that the and report defin variable holds the BI pub report definition object. We'll be using that later. Scroll down to where we processed the report. Everything up to and including this statement remains the same. We're going to make our change to the publish section. The publish method sends the report to the report manager. I'll comment that out since we don't want the report appearing in two places. Next, we need to get our directory separator character. PeopleTools BI Pub app packages include a utility class that will determine the forward or backslash depending on if the process is running on a Linux or Windows server. Instantiate the utility object and load the proper slash character into the dirsep variable. Next, we need to render the report name. I'm using the BI Pub report object properties to return the file name and extension. Then we use the file name to generate a fully qualified URL to the new report. The report definition's people tools property configuration determines if the out destination property contains the root path to the report. Then append the rpt inst subdirectory using the proper directory separators and tack on our file name at the end. Before doing anything else, we want to check if we found the true URL to the new file. Use the file exists function with the rendered URL. Percent file path absolute informs the function that the URL is complete, not relative to the current directory. If the file exists, we'll put our code here. Also a message to the log saying we found the file and the URL to the file. 
else notify the log that we could not find that file. Let's save this and clean up. If we found the file, we want to read the contents. Open the file with the URL as read. Use the getBase64 string from binary method to read the file as a binary object and convert the contents to base64 so we can store it in a string variable. Then close the file. Now let's open the same file again with a write flag. This will effectively delete and rewrite that file. Use the file object's write base64 string to binary method to write back the base64 string saved in our variable. Lastly, close the file. Now let's run the report again and see what we get. Switch to the process monitor and wait for the report to complete and post. Click on the details link and then choose the view log trace link. We see our generated Excel spreadsheet now available in the files list along with the log and trace. This is the Excel spreadsheet it produced. Now let's change the report to create a PDF. Change the output type to PDF. This uses a different BIPub report definition with the same data source. This report definition is an RTF template. OK. Check the status on the process monitor. Success and posted. Let's look at the files. We see our PDF listed with the logs. Click on the link presents the report. So that's it. We stopped the report from publishing to the report manager. And then we used the file object space64 methods to read and write that binary object back into itself, triggering the process scheduler's tracking of files that are written during the batch processes. Hey, guess what? It appears in the process monitor's details page. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel, and we'll see you next time here in People Tools Tech Tips.